Hey, Nick. Want to watch a movie? Mm. Come on. We never watch movies. Please. All right. Yes. Let's just skip through all this like intro stuff and just get right to the dialogue, okay? Oh man, she's opening the door. What's gonna happen? They can't take it. Are they gonna live? Okay, I'm just gonna look at the end, make sure that everyone's alive. Okay. Whew. Oh, this is too intense. Let's just let's just skip all the scary stuff. Okay, it looks like it stopped about here and play. Okay, that's better. I can't believe it ended that way. Jenny, we've seen this before. We have? Hey everyone, it's Nick and Jenny from Short and Sweet. Do you ever wish that you could just skip ahead of these tough times? I yep. sometimes do. I kind of wish that we could just skip ahead when life is normal and stable and we don't have to do all this social distancing. It's normal to feel that way. Nobody likes to go through hard times. But let's think about some of the things we might be missing out on if we actually had the option of skipping ahead. If we look at the example of me watching the movie and what Nick would describe as a terrible way of watching movies, we'd see that if you skip ahead to the end of the movie, you might actually miss out on what's happening in the larger narrative. You might also miss out on some of the character development, who people are becoming and how. Another thing you might miss out on is meaning. Why are things the way they are? All of these aspects are part of what we learn in both good times and bad times. I'm going to read to you from Romans 5. It says, we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. It's a tough verse, but it reminds us that hope develops and grows in suffering and pain. It's what sustains us during these tough times. Then we remember Christ's promise to strengthen and equip us for the days ahead. So we hope that encourages you today, and, and we'll, we'll see you soon! Next week.